In this tutorial, you'll learn how to evaluate resources, regardless of their format, so that you can make more informed decisions on what information is reliable for academic work, professional work, and even your personal life. Information comes in a variety of formats, from social media to specialized encyclopedias. Regardless of what the format of the resource is, it's important to think critically about the resource before trusting it. The Y method can help you do that. The Y method asks you to consider who the author is, how it was published and edited, and why it was created. First, consider who the author or authors are. Remember that authors can be corporations or other entities like the government. What are the author's credentials in relation to the information? Are they a professional working in the field? Do they have an advanced academic degree related to the information they're writing about? To find out, try searching for information about the individual, corporation, or organization on the internet. The less experience and credentials someone has related to the information, the less trustworthy the information generally is. Be especially cautious when you can't find out who the author is because you can't verify their credentials. Certain sources, like news sources, are written by journalists who do not have credentials on a particular topic, but may rely on experts or others who do have credentials. Once you've determined who is responsible for the resource, examine how the resource was published and edited. Was it on a self-published blog or website? Was it published on a news site where an editor or fact checker verified the information before it was published? Resources that go through an editorial process have some measure of quality control. For example, articles published in many scholarly journals go through what is known as peer review, which means that other scholars who are experts in the field read and evaluate the work before it is published. However, just like you checked who the author is, try and find out some information about the editors, publishers, or the editorial process. You might find that some editors or publishers have a reputation for bias or publishing misleading information. Self-published works, which may include social media, personal websites, and even some books, have no editorial process and therefore less quality control. Finally, consider why the resource was created. Was it made to inform or educate? Is there a commercial interest, such as trying to sell a product or service? For academic work, resources that have the intent of sharing information and are written for researchers or professionals are often appropriate. Though other resources like news articles from trustworthy publishers that are written for a general audience may also be appropriate. Generally, resources that have a bias or a commercial interest are less appropriate. You have now learned the why method for evaluating resources. Who is the author? How was it published and edited? And why was it created? Investigating the answers to those questions can help you evaluate information and make better decisions on what information to trust in your academic, professional, and personal life. For additional help, use the Ask a Librarian service located on the library's homepage or use the chat bubble to connect with a librarian during our virtual reference hours.